you guys ask so i am back with a life update baby let's go ahead and jump into our talking you know but before we get off into that i did want to show you guys my updated brow routine it's probably the best i've done thus far so let's go ahead and get into it to start i'm going to be using a little bit of my maybelline uh foundation did you guys know they made a foundation in your skin tone not foundation sorry setting powder in your skin tone um i knew that but i was like mm, it's probably gonna be a little bit too dark babes look don't be afraid do not be afraid of this okay this has actually been incorporated in my makeup routine and has definitely made a difference for me i have oily skin right so with me having oily skin i want to make sure that my brows are dried down okay so that's why i use a setting powder prior to me going in with my brow product but again i'm going to show you guys how simple and how easy to draw on your brows is okay i was making it too complicated before all right so hopefully you guys can see this and you can get off into it so what you want to do is you literally want to draw right inside of your brow right trace it right on out what i was doing previously is i was drawing below it or i was drawing too high above it you want to get to like where that last little bit of hair is and just draw right inside of it that is super simple it carves out the shape of your brow without having to do too much it doesn't make them too thick doesn't make them too blocky okay i like the front of my brows to kind of blend out a little bit easier so what i do is i just kind of go right here at the bottom and then I take a spoolie and literally go from the bottom to the top just making sure that product is blended out right because it kind of gives you more of like a gradient or a natural brow right there in the front it's not too harsh now I know it looks crazy now but the moment that we clean it up it's gonna look amazing okay so the brow is completely filled in and let me show you guys how simple it is to clean it up i like to take a camo concealer from elf i like to take the one that is mattifying and just go in and clean this right one up i like to use a mattifying one because um, i'm going to be doing eyeshadow as well it's probably going to be something super simple but i'm going to be doing eyeshadow as well so i want to make sure that that concealer doesn't move but when i tell you that this uh, has been the easiest that i have ever been able to do my brows and this is just the bottom half do you guys see how carved out and how clean that looks now i probably went a little bit too bright with the under eye concealer but that is okay we're gonna clean that up in just a second now to clean up the top of the brow i love to go in with a concealer that is a little bit more closer to my skin tone i'm using the lip bar concealer and this is in the shade mocha but i like to kind of come across the top here and just carve out where i want my brows to be okay clean up those sides over there bam right super easy super easy okay super simple super easy just get in there and get it done right and then i like to connect those middle two lines together i find that that helps me make sure that my brows are at least related you know not identical but at least related bam look at that brows done honey and they're not too thick just one and done love one and done so i'm gonna go in with one of my favorite palettes this one right here is the coffee palette from juvia's this has become one of my faves because it has so many different neutral colors in there now i have a couple interviews lined up next week so i really want to take today to focus on just light makeup you know and kind of chit chatting and just getting you know back with you guys so um, if you guys have been keeping up, I did quit my corporate job. Um, it has been like, I think nine or 10 days now since I quit. 
and um, you guys know it I have been discussing it for a little bit because I just got tired of being overworked child that's another story in itself okay because now that I'm applying for uh, jobs baby these jobs are paying very fucking little and they want you to do the task of two damn people it is insane the market is crazy I was just talking to this lady um, when she called and I had to let her know yeah no I'm not gonna be taking that at all because she told me that they wanted me to support or the job wanted you to support like six or seven people but when I tell you that the wage was not a livable wage it was like girl are you crazy this is the work of two fucking people and you want to get somebody in here that's going to do the job and be effective at the job for this pay it's crazy it's insane now you guys are probably thinking like all right what the hell are you okay are you stable why the hell would you quit your job baby it has been a long time coming literally the young lady that was in um the position prior to the new girl that we got which y'all need to go back and just watch the videos baby to understand anyway uh she was super cool super chill like that was my baby all right that was my baby like we got the shit done together right but she was responsible for hosting a lot of the events that we had when they hired the new girl she said she was able to do it but the baby baby girl was a fucking ditzy as shit like just ditzy as fucking shit which didn't bother me until they start putting her work that she was unable to do because she was so fucking ditzy off onto me then we got some problem love then we have a fucking problem I didn't have an issue doing the work when my girl quit um, and it was just me. It started to become an issue when they hired old girl and she was incapable of doing the job so they would put the work off on me. I had an issue with that because why in the fuck are we having the same title, we're probably getting paid the same exact amount um, and she's just taking up space because she's unable to do her job, right? So. There were, were plenty of conversations that were had behind closed doors. Oh, Ari, we know you're picking up the slack and we know you're doing this. Uh, we know that we didn't hire you for this, but we appreciate you. Da, 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 da. It became a fucking issue for me because you're not going to keep on trying to blow smoke up my ass and have her just sitting around chilling. And, and that's basically what was going on. She was chilling while I had to take on the duties of my current position plus her position so it was kind of like y'all could have really kept that position blank um if you weren't gonna get somebody in here to do the work furthermore y'all are acknowledging me and telling me that you guys see that she's inadequate or incapable of doing her job because she's so fucking ditzy but instead of you guys reprimanding her or forcing her to do the work that she said on her resume she was able to do instead you're allowing her to be mediocre and then passing the work down to me but it's not okay for me to be mediocre i got a real fucking problem with that Got to a point that um the girl had threatened to go to hr because she felt as though i was not training her and they just just sat there now let me explain this to you bitch i was never supposed to train you okay this is a hands-on job that if you say on your resume you got this skill set it's not that fucking hard like when it came to booking flights and shit she would call me or she would send a screenshot and say did i book this flight right bitch if you put on your resume that you knew how to book flights which is not that motherfucking hard to book flights because you probably do that in your day to day. They literally, it's self explanatory. They literally ask you for your first name, your last name, date of birth. But it was simple shit like that that was so difficult for her. And I got to the point again, baby, you don't report to me and I'm not here to train you. That's not a part of my job description. So I just kind of left her alone, especially when she made the statement of, oh, I feel like you're not helpful. How am I not helpful? But yet you keep calling me for fucking help. Right. So anytime it got to a place that she was unable to do her job or she couldn't do her job, it was always let me try to use Ari as a scapegoat. Right. And they kind of let that shit go on for a little bit too fucking long for my liking. So we had like several meetings about this and each meeting resulted in Ari, we know you're not the problem. We know she's the issue. We're working through it. And, you know, we apologize for, you know, the making you uncomfortable and the position that this is putting you in and just da da da. But we still need you to take on her, her task because she's unable to complete them. So this went on for about six months. Like 
not being able to do her her duties right and so the final thing came down to this huge corporate event that we were having uh, where we it's a national event right and so again the person that was in her role prior to her getting there took on all of this I was just there as support um I didn't say on my resume I had event planning, but I know how to motherfucking do it. It's not it's not hard. It's not rocket science, right? But for her, whatever simple tasks just were so difficult for her to accomplish, right? On her resume, she had stated, oh, I've done event planning. I've booked travel. All of these things, but then came out in the wash that it was not true, which I'm not mad at you. Sometimes you got to fluff up that resume a little bit. I'm not mad at you. But when you're unwilling to learn how to fucking do it, it's crazy. Like where oh i don't know how to do that and i just i can't figure it out like there i'm not even joking and i'm not trying to be fucking funny there was a learning disability there like not even not even fucking playing there was a learning disability there right the people around her her manager as well as everybody else would not interact with her because they knew there was a learning disability but instead of addressing that and that issue they will go around it and just come to me there were times where her boss will call me and ask me to do some shit instead of going to her because he would be so frustrated with that situation so instead of you again making her do the role or the job that she said she was able to do you work around it by coming through me i got a fucking problem with that we had so many one-on-ones because baby i was fed up i was overworked i was tired again I was already doing the role of two people prior to her getting there. But you mean when she's in the position, I still have to do the role of two people? Like, this is unfair. This is crazy. Again, we got the same exact title. I don't have manager, nor do I want manager in my title. Um, but we got the same exact title. And we are getting paid the same amount. So why the fuck am I always responsible for picking up on her, her uh, shortcomings? So anyway, um, there's an event that comes up where, again, it's a national event. It is supposed to be her role. Come to find out, this bitch don't even know how to fucking read contracts. So she's incapable of doing it. So I get a call from her boss yet again. Oh, I need you to really handle this. We know that she's not going to be able to handle this. So if you just don't mind uh, taking it on or whatever. And I was cool, right? I was like, all right, fine. I'll, I'll take on the event. But I need her to support me because again when the girl that was in her role did the entire event i was there to support if that meant me going to pick up items for her or if that meant me booking a couple flights for her whatever the case may be i was there as a support guy do you know this bitch didn't offer support at all and whenever i asked her to book there were 167 flights that needed to book i asked her to book 20 of them and do you know that there was a back and forth on how the fuck you book flights to the point that I wound up having to book 146 by my fucking self. Because you get so fucking frustrated of having to do the go, the back and forth of each and every one. You are sending me screenshots of how to fuck. Did I book this one right? Are you sure? There is, didn't even know how to read an Excel document, baby. Literally, the Excel document is so self-explanatory. My kids can fucking do it. There's literally, literally a column that says first name, last name, date of birth, right? That's everything that you're going to need for your your flight booking but then it, there's also a column that tells you which airport they're flying out of there's also a column that tells you the arrival time as well as the departure time what time they need to arrive and what time they need to depart the only thing i needed you to do was go in once you book the flight and fill in the arrival and the departure time do you know she was unable to do that this heifa literally sent me a message and said i don't know how to read that document When I tell you that I was literally waiting on the punk camera crew to come out and be like, you've been punked because there is no fucking way. And I and I kept asking, I said, how in the fuck did she pass the fucking interview test? Because if you talk to this stuff for, for 10 minutes, you can tell it's something off with her. Right. But they didn't want to deal with it because, you know, she off. So y'all don't want to deal with it. So you pushing her off on me. That ain't going to work. Anyway, we get to the time of the event. The only thing that I asked for and all of this shit is documented as well. I made sure I documented anytime I had a problem with her. Anytime there was pushback, all of that. So the only thing that I asked for during the event, I'm planning it. I have ordered the food like this bitch has helped out with literally nothing. Hasn't asked me if I needed help. Hasn't said anything. Just absolutely fucking oblivious right so the only thing i told her manager that i needed from her was to ensure the day of the event because again it is such a tedious event you're going to be on your feet the whole entire time it's a hard event the only thing that i need to have from her is just help setting up da 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 
do you know that she made my setup process i literally got there ahead of time to make sure that we were on schedule because i knew how hard it was previous with my girl who had been there we struggled you know what i'm saying but do you know this bitch set me back three fucking hours because of her fucking shenanigans first of all the bitch showed up to set up dressed with heels on bitch you're going to be walking like you're getting ready to dive in where the fuck are your jeans and your tennis shoes right but okay whatever cool do what you do whatever simple task of me telling her hey this is how we gonna put the shit in the bags this bitch jesus forgive me but i'm getting frustrated again this bitch can't even like on the spreadsheet it has a name and then also says large medium small it tells you what size this person wears the only thing that you have to do i literally had the piles going here's a woman's small here's a men's small whatever only thing that you have to do is take the shirts off of the table put them inside the bag the bitch couldn't even fucking do that if i had small and mediums ready to go the bitch is looking for a large why the fuck are you looking for larges if i have small and medium ready to go oh well, i don't feel like walking when I told you, I couldn't figure out if the bitch was really fucking with me or she was this fucking stupid. There is so much more that I could elaborate on or go into details about. But then, look, I'm running out of town. Anyway, let's fast forward to the dinner, right? So we have this big, huge dinner. Again, I've scouted the place. I've signed a contract to bitch to help with shit, right? So, literally... She talking about, she's talking to a person in a different department and telling them, oh, I don't know if I want to do this job no more. I didn't realize it was so much moving. Come to find out she had lied on her resume. She admitted it. Oh, I wasn't even doing this at my last job. I was in a completely different department. Boom. That all tracks, bitch, as to why you don't understand what the fuck is going on. But anyway, I'm on my feet the entire time. This bitch is at the back. Cause I set her by the door because normally we sit by the door to assist with any issues or whatever. This is back, back there drinking. I go back there just to sit down for a quick second, right? Because I'm on my feet. I'm handing out awards, whatever. She ain't asked me if, she, if I needed help doing it. No, nothing. But this bitch is back there enjoying herself. I'm talking about four or five drinks in at this point. Four or five drinks in. After the award ceremony is done, we have a DJ. Now, I we can't go party with the DJ because we literally have to begin to start breaking shit down. So, because they out there partying, you let the executives do what they do. We need to start breaking shit down so we can be done by the end of the night because we don't have a breakdown team. The breakdown team was me and her. But it just wound up being me because the bitch is sloppy fucking drunk sloppy drunk so then i go peek my head out where the dj is because it's like a little dance floor this bitch is over there twerking ass in the air twerking in front of c-suite now y'all know i'm the type of bitch that love to have fun but are you fucking kidding me you're twerking in front of c-suite and let me remind y'all let me put this into perspective for you motherfuckers there are only four black people at this event none of which are in fucking leadership and you got your ass over here motherfucking twerking i don't care how motherfucking cool these people act like they is the looks on they face was of pure shock and mortification bitch and you are one of four black people and you showing your ass I'm breaking down this bitch too drunk to help do anything you know how like when people get drunk they get to falling all over themselves and talking and touching and shit yeah she's that fucking drunk right so I'm like you know what just just go sit down and then one of the four blacks comes up to me and says you know how do we get more inclusivity in here and stuff like that and I'm thinking to myself do you see the motherfuckers that we have up in here now one of four got they ass in the air. And I'm not talking about just a... I'm talking about hands on your motherfucking ankles twerking in this bitch. You think they about to let us in the motherfucking door? We will never be seen as anything more than just fucking peons within this fucking company because of the way that you fucking carrying yourself. I'm all for having fun. You may do a little jig. Ay, ay, ay. I'm all for that. But you got your hands on your motherfucking ankles and your ass in the air. Bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? Y'all know I am all for ratchet shit. I love me a good sexy red, okay? 
All I'm saying is, is in a building full of executives, you don't act that way, baby. Now, if it was just supervisors and managers, absolutely, show your ass, do what you do, baby. But not on this motherfucking level. Not on this level, especially when they already don't want to let us in the door. Like, what the fuck is you doing? When I tell you, I was just so disappointed and disgusted but that wasn't even the motherfucking final straw right so i wound up limping out of there because mind you i have been on my feet since probably like seven it is now 11. i have not eaten anything this is day two of me not eating anything um i had not sat down like baby i was fucking tired right but i still was like we gonna push through everything gonna be good you know the executives seem to be pretty excited and happy so I'm good, you know, I made myself look good. We good, right? So, the next day, the only thing that I needed, now mind you, this whole entire motherfucking time, I keep going back to y'all, this bitch is not helped with a motherfucking thing. When I tell you I had to buy a U-Haul van just to get all of the shit I had at my house, um, swag, orchids, all of that shit, I had to buy a U-Haul van just to get it up to the venue, right? The bitch has not helped transport a motherfucking thing. She has not helped with nada. Like, when I say nothing, I'm talking about zero, zilch nothing the bitch is not helped with a damn thing so we're at final day of the conference the only thing that i need this ditzy ass bitch to do is help with the fucking takedown after everybody motherfucking leaves that's it do you know this bitch disappeared this a fucking beard the entire duration of the final day of the conference the bitch was nowhere to be found right so at this point i'm frustrated because i've just given y'all two whole days of absolutely my best i ain't ate i'm tired i ain't seen my kids i'm ready to fucking go home and the only thing i ask this bitch is to help with takedown and this bitch is gone so i call her manager and i say where is where is she he says i don't know i called her and she said she was walking around the hotel help me understand why the fuck you're walking around the hotel if we have shit that we need to do and take down help me understand why you're walking around the hotel right so i wait 30 minutes for her to return the bitch never fucking returns right so she just steady doing whatever fuck she want to do and that's when i knew that no matter how many discussions i had with management um this behavior was never going to change there was never going to be um any type of re what do you call that um any type of is it recourse? Is that the word I'm looking for? I think so. It's never going to be any type of recourse for her actions. She was never going to be in trouble. Um, and I was always going to be the one that was going to be looked at as picking up the slack. And um, again, I just wanted to go home. The bitch hadn't, I didn't, hadn't asked you for help with nothing. You didn't help. You didn't offer help. You didn't do anything this duration of the entire conference. And the only thing I need you to do was help me take down and bitch you decided to walk around. I had had enough and when I tell you I walked out and never returned, I walked out and never motherfucking returned. I threw some curls in my hair. I got like a little short on my wig tutorial. If it's not out, it will be out soon. Um, but I think somebody in the comments asked me if I will be doing content creation full time. Baby, no. I don't think that we're at that level where content creation could pay my bills. I mean, if it happens, it happens. I'm definitely posting a lot more now. Um, but... Nope, I don't think that we're at the level where it could, you know, successfully pay my bills every month, you know. I told y'all previously, it's like hit or miss, so. Um, I should be, like, really, really worried, but, I mean, I was financially smart. I did make sure I didn't go out here and spend money, of course, you know, I bought the things that I liked. But when it came to, you know, my decisions, I made sure I saved up for a rainy day. Unfortunately, this is my rainy day. Um, I already have like a couple interviews. Hopefully they pan out the way that I want them to do and they, you know, the pay range is what I want. Keep you guys abreast of that. But I mean, overall, like I'm, I'm okay. I'm in a good space and I know that everything is going to work out for the better, you know, and that's just where we are. Okay. Let's go ahead and spray this and then I'm going to show y'all how to, um, do the lip girl. Cause I don't figured it out. I done figured it out, baby, how to make it look good. All right, so if you are a dark skin baddie and you are having trouble finding a liner that really pops on you, 
I have switched and it's not nothing new. People have been saying to do it for a while. I just haven't done it. Oh, my ear itches. Sorry. But I have used the um, NK uh, concealer palette. I got this for probably like $3.99, $5.99 at my beauty supply store. And I've been using this shade right here. And it just kind of contours my lips the way that I like them and give them that natural pout that I look for. So I'm going to show you guys how I go in and do that. And I use like a little brush. This is my makeup by Mario Pencil. I use this brush to go in and outline my lips. So just, just watch and see. These two have become like my absolute favorite lip glosses ever. This is Juvia's Place Cookie Butter. Oh my gosh. Um, so I put this down first. It's just a nice little brown. You guys could stop here, but I like that center, kind of like an ombre look. So that's why I go in with my second color. Okay, then um, once I hit that there in just the center, I go in with the creme brulee, just right here. These two, my God, definitely the best lip glosses I have tried thus far. Just the shades, you know, the shades are so pretty and they just blend so good. And it just gives you that nice little pouty look. And it makes my lips appear like 10 times bigger. My shit. All right, guys. So here we are. This is the finished look. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. So just to kind of wrap up, I think that for me, my makeup has um, definitely begun to look a lot better, like 10 times better on camera. And that is simply because I have learned my undertones and what really, really works out for my skin tone. And you will have to do the same. Just because, like, for me, I use a lot of cool stuff now cool to like a neutral undertone and it has really just made my skin pop 10 times better you have to de uh, decide whether or not you're going to be warm skin tone or are you an olive like you have to find products that really work for you but baby once you find them it is all going to come together on another note just kind of telling you guys i am not here to encourage you guys to quit your job that is something that i do not encourage okay um hell i'm really just trying to figure out why the hell i quit mine i mean i know why but it's like girl was that really smart <laughs> but we're gonna figure it out um and I'll, I'll take you guys along for the journey but yeah this is it like i said i do have a youtube short oh my goodness my hair sticking up on this side um i do have like a youtube short kind of going over how i install my hair i have another hair tutorial on the way don't know if influence is going to be my full-time primary income but i mean we're trying to we're trying to work some shit out but anyway this is it i gotta go but i love you guys and i will see you guys next time